All right, we're gonna get started on setting up the bathroom with some safety features. We're gonna start with a nightlight. The nightlight will keep the bathroom illuminated at night so that you don't bump into the walls or trip over something. Uh, you can buy these at the store that even have a light sensor on them so that they uh, turn on as the um, bathroom gets dimmer. You want to prevent burns from happening with the faucets. So um, you want to adjust the thermostat to a lower setting, either low or less than 120 degrees on the hot water heater. You can label the faucets hot and cold to prevent any confusion from happening when they're turning on the faucets. For showers, again, you can label the hot and cold to prevent someone from getting burned. You could laminate them. You could use vinyl lettering is another way to um, have it so that it's a little more waterproof. The shower bench can go in the shower and install a handheld shower wand. That makes it easy to be able to bathe your loved one or they can sit and bathe themselves a lot easier. This is a shower bench. You don't need a prescription or a doctor to um, be able to get one of these. You can go to your local pharmacy or even Sam's Club and Costco carry them. The way that you use a shower bench is that you want to adjust the height of the bench so that it's easy to sit down on and get off of. Uh, when you set it up in a bathtub, now this isn't your typical um, bathtub that you have at home, like a shower tub combo, but I'm going to demonstrate how to use it in this tub so that you get the idea. Place the shower bench far back in the tub from the faucet side. You put the bench um, so that it straddles the tub and the handle side would go into the tub, leaving this slide side open. So you will sit on the edge of the shower chair and get your feet into the tub. You can also help get someone's feet into the tub. And then you slide over on the bench so that you're all the way into the tub. For bathroom safety, you want to remove all rugs from the floor. They are a tripping hazard. This is an elevated toilet seat. Again, you don't need to have a prescription or a doctor's order in order to get one. You can buy these online or from your local pharmacy. There are um, even different types of elevated toilet seats. This one's nice because it has handles and it makes it very easy to get on and then to be able to use the handlebars to push off to stand up easily.